Hey, what's up guys? I'm here again. Alrighty, first of all, let's deal with the most important thing. If you're just starting out on Kodi, one of the things you'll notice is um, it's a little daunting for newcomers because you're not sure what to do. You heard about, oh, Kodi is this great software, but when you, you have it, it's like, my Kodi is not that great. And you're saying, I can't do some of the stuff that some of these pros are doing. So I'm here to make it simple for you guys. I'm here to explain something that will change your life if you're new to Kodi. If you're just starting out, you just made a fresh install on whatever system you are in. And you're starting to hear repos and other repos. And you're saying to yourself, boy, I don't think I can find all of these repos. I don't know. Where do I find all of these stuff? All right. Ever watch the, 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 the movie, Lord of the Rings? All right. And it says, one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them to Cody, and in Cody, bind them. That's mine. That's, yeah. All right. All right. Let's leave that alone. <laughs> Anyways. um Yeah. So that's the thing. We're going to look for one repo to rule them all. And what's a repo really in Cody? That's a repository. That's where you get all your cool add-ons, programs, all the good stuff. So you just want, if you're just like me, when I started, I just wanted one repo. One thing that I just say, okay, I'm going to install this and then I don't have to worry about searching for other repos and all of that. And that's what I'm going to bring you today. I'm going to tell you about Super Repo. Okay, that's their website. I uh, don't know how well that is showing. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's their website. So, super repo. So, the first thing, let's get to business. How do I get this installed? Quite easily, actually. It's not very difficult. To get it started, you don't have to do much, really. Just follow the, the next set of instructions. I promise you, it's so easy. You're going to wonder to yourself, my God, this coding thing is very easy. Go over to system. All right, we are there. Go down to File Manager, click on that, then click on Add Source. It doesn't matter which one you choose, the A, B, the A or the B side. It doesn't matter. Just click on one. Click on Add Source. Then you see where that none is. Click on that as well, and then you are going to type the following in. I had mine saved, so I'm just gonna paste it here, and it's HTTP colon slash slash srp dot n u going again h t t p colon slash slash srp dot n u and that's pretty much what you have you click done and then go down to enter a name for the media source and i'm going to write mine as super i'm not even going to put repo i'm just going to put super and then click ok all right we're almost finished you now go back to that little home button you see right there, that little house. Click on it. And then you go back into system. But now we're not going to choose file manager. Then we're going to go down to add-ons. Click on add-ons. Mine is in the... Okay. And then we're going to go. You should see my add-ons install from repository and install from zip file. Click on install from zip file. Then you see where you named your super repo. Go to where that is. Click on that. And choose your version of Kodi. If you are not sure what version of Kodi you are on, you can all you can click um, system info if you want. Or you can just choose the middle one. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. So I'm going to choose Isengard. <laughs> no, no coincidence that I started off with that. Lord of the Rings um, example and its name Isengard weird I know but everybody loves Lord of the Rings if you didn't see Lord of the Rings go watch it and then you click down to repository when you click on repository you see others and then you see super repo the one you want is super repo so enter that folder you see that zip file just click on it and you should start to see some stuff some magic happening Check in for add-ons, blah, 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 all the good stuff. Um, Pulsar repository, white cream repo, all the good stuff. 
they're all added to your coding now and you can simply click out if you want you could also click install from repository but you don't need to do that that's kind of complicated if you just started so you go back to your videos now and you click your add-ons video add-ons and when you go in there these are mine I, are, I have a ton of them and you click on get more when you what you should see is a whole list of add-ons a ton of add-ons that you never had before not the standard Kodi add-ons that you know the sucky ones that you got before you got the good stuff including my boy Genesis Ah, there we go Genesis yeah including Genesis you know really good add-on all of the good stuff and now your Kodi is super powered and able to do what most if not all other Kodi's can do without with minimum minimum customization and minimum effort so you don't have to go off and search for repos because even in the super repo if I remember correctly even adult add-ons are included so install with caution guys so pretty much that's it if you started let's go back to the to 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 um to reaffirm you just go over to system click on file manager enter your information in their ad source and pretty much that's it you have it all installed and that's the first and um, to me the greatest step when you're starting off for the first time on Kodi no need to be running all over the place trying to install separate add-ons and separate repositories just get one repository one repo to rule them all thank you guys for watching if you like please subscribe i'm going to be doing a lot more of these um yeah pretty much and yeah thank you guys who already subscribed and yeah thanks for the support guys and i'm out